the question we always get is, well, what is Sleek Pro? How does it work? Um, traditionally, if someone wanted something done in foil, it had to be outsourced to a company that does foiling. Maybe you're a very large shop and have in-house foiling ca capability. And traditionally what that's done with is a hot stamp die. The die has to be uh, built in the image that you want it to be. The sheet comes in, the sheet gets registered to the die and that die comes down and stamps the impression infuses the hot foil to the sheet. Now, in order for that to be done, there's no capability of doing variable data. Short runs are extremely limited because the cost of the die, the outsourcing, and then you have registration issues because when that die gets stamped, it's registered to the sheet edge. And if your print has moved, you may have print and your foil stamp that are slightly off from each other. So what Sleek Pro is, is we have laid down our, our toner base in the area where we want the foil. And when we run it through the scan decor device, the foil is wider than the image area that we've uh, laid down with our toner. And under heat and pressure, we fuse our specialty Sleek Pro foil or spot effect to that toner or digital ink. And then at the back of the machine, as you can see, the, the uh, excess foil on the liner is wound away and the area that has been foiled or spot effect has uh, come out the back of the, the, uh, the device. And that sheet now can be um, you know, further processed or you can go back in and reprint surrounding imagery around it, et cetera. So there's a very big difference between traditional hot foil stamping and Sleek Pro. Sleek Pro, we can do variable data. We can do short run very effectively. We can do all your variable data work. And as we just came away from the session of Color Logic, where you overprint with specialty effects on top of that, you now have opened up the gamut of 250 different colors that can be laid over top of our printable silver. Bob, can you open up more? Yeah, so let's, um, I'm going to play devil's advocate for a second and talk about what Sleek Pro is not. So it's a question we get a lot. Um, actually, not so much anymore, but a couple of years ago when Sleeking was new, um, you know, we get it, got a lot. Well, why should I do that instead of hot foil? And John just um, covered off, obviously, the benefits of it. But, um, you know, there's a couple of things that Sleek Pro is, is not great for. Number one, if you're looking for a traditional foil stamp with an emboss or a deboss uh, from the die hitting the sheet. Uh, we can't create that, obviously. Um, it's, it's a flat output. The inverse is true, of course, as well. If you have a two-sided piece where that emboss or deboss would mar the sheet and uh, you know, affect the duplex, the backside of the sheet, well, obviously, Sleek Pro is a better solution there. Um, so let's say, John, we have a job and it's uh, some fabric book covers, right? you're kind of stuck with hot stamping there. It's uh, been used for over a hundred years for that application to foil stamp onto fabric and it's the best choice. So while Sleek Pro obviously has its, its fit, um, there's a situation where it's um, not the right choice or some people might have a large press and they can run cold foil with something like Eagle Systems on press and they're doing 50,000 sheets. Static image, every single one's the same. Um, that is your best choice. But to our market, who's on this, uh, this uh, session today, really digital printers, there's no better option for applying embellishments and specialty foil effects um, and hitting the points you said before about variable data. No die is required. 